Hi, while loop in Python are condition based as opposed to for loop. For loops are on certain iteration. So what file loop do it go for condition. So how you have a while expression then you have a condition if condition is true what it will do it will execute the conditional code and then it will go to check again the condition if condition is true it will continue executing the conditional code if condition is false it will go outside the for loop so that is how while loop works so let's look side by side while loop and for loop the only difference between while loop and for loop is the conditional statement in for loop you have a preset range so it executes certain range in while loop construction if you see uh, while then you have a condition whether it's a true or false then you have a statement so it will check condition and then it will do something if the condition is true in while loop so let's see in code in count code for example we have a count is equal to zero then we have a while then we have a condition count is less than nine and then we have a print statement and then we have another counter statement or addition statement and so what happened it will go to check whether count is less than nine yes in first iteration it will be one and one is less than nine so it will execute the next conditional code those are print and count inside the while loop so when the condition will be false it will go outside and will say goodbye so this is a way how while loop code works let's have an example so i will write count is equal to zero and then while count is less than nine so colon and then the statement conditional statement that is print so in print we can write okay the count is equal to uh, the count we can write here count and then we can write some iteration or addition statement so count plus equal to one we can write we, we can also write count is equal to equal to uh, count equal to count plus one and then we can write uh, some statement outside the count uh, outside the while loop like print outside the while loop so this is a way how you can write while loop so let's execute it and you can see it started from zero and went until nine when the condition met like nine is less than uh, eight is less than nine it will execute when nine is less than nine is false so you can also start from three and went until uh, nine three four five six seven eight it will execute so you can also change your code and you can make it uh, uh, different for example count is equal to one and then count is equal to one so what it will happen it will become infinite loop because the oh no it will not become infinite loop in this condition because we have a uh, counter or addition thing like count plus equal to one let's make it zero and execute it will not execute the uh, statement inside the while loop now if we will make again one so what it will do it will execute one time and then what it will do it will break outside the while loop so we can also make it infinite loop by hashing this thing now it is executing as you can see the static in front of the statement so next is uh, while loop uh, I will take the infinite loop by taking input from user for example here var assign value 1 then while statement or conditional statement as I said parentheses are optional you can use parentheses or you can remove parentheses so var condition equal to equal to 1 that is var equal to 1 and then take integer uh, input because I want to take when you take uh, input that is not integer I want to convert that input as a integer so the integer value will be saved in num then I will print the integer value in this statement to see what we entered exactly and then here uh, it is my choice like I want to uh, break this code uh, break this uh, loop or I just want to assign uh, num to var and will continue for example if I give one it will the conditions is true it will continue it will ask me again for some input if I enter two, the condition is false it will go outside the loop 
and the same if I will put even 0 0 is equal equal to 1 it's not equal to 1 so if I will put 0 so it's not equal to 1 so it will just go outside the loop this is the way how for loop works so there are few more statements those are very useful how you when you want to uh, use loops uh, one of that statement is a break statement uh, in break statement what you can do you can break your loop uh, you can terminate your loop statement uh, after ex one execution or two execution or un until certain condition for example in our code I want to uh, terminate my loop at 5 when the 5 if five, uh, my value is 5 it will terminate so in this continue what continue do it only uh, continue it will just skip that value it will not print that value the next one is a pass and the pass is different than all this break and continue what it will do it will just pass it will not print or uh, skip it will it is just an empty statement in loop that is, that is it from loops next we will talk about functions stay tuned and see you